started. Florida is one hell of a drug. No sunshine for us this week. No coffee for me this morning because I'm gonna go meet some friends at a cute little cafe in a few hours. And I think they have like coffee flights, so I don't wanna overdo it. And I ran out of pre-workout, so I didn't have that this morning. So I'm just raw dogging life today, I guess. So we made a cute little smoothie. I made this like acai chocolate smoothie last night for dessert, but I skipped out on the chocolate almond milk for breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's a little thick, so I'm gonna let her sit for a little. I'm really good off the straw. I wanna get back into, cause I love acai bowls so much, but they add up when you can make it for so much cheaper at home. And I personally like, I feel like it tastes very similar. Like I finally mastered my way of making a bowl at home. So I wanna get back on that. Florida is apparently getting some kind of tropical depression, tropical cyclone. Don't ask me what the hell a cyclone is. Cause I don't know, Alexa, what is a cyclone? A cyclone is a large scale air mass that rotates around the center of low atmospheric pressure. Okay, okay, Alexa, stop. So basically it's a lot of wind and a lot of rain that we're getting for like the next week. No sunshine state, no beach, no pool, just me and you. I do have a few plans I wanna bring you guys along and I still have quite a few hours till I'm going to go ahead and meet the girlies. So I need to get shit done. Like I need to edit the YouTube video. I have to do actual work. My house, this week was so busy that my house is showing it. When my house is a mess, it's a mess up here. So I definitely need to clean up around the house. I probably should shower, but all the girls said they're also going after the gym, so maybe I'll just change my top because I'm so sweaty. Reapply deodorant, reapply perfume, and I'll catch you guys in a few hours. Quite the few hours later, I just got ready. I, if you missed the last vlog, I got that like viral TikTok stain, and this shit yeah, you can't see it. This stuff is so cool. Like, yes, it looks really gross once I pull it off, but your lips are like good to go for like 48 hours. This is only my second time using it. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit of a mess. I have stain on my teeth. Oh, okay. Give me a second. Okay, I cleaned it up a little bit. Look how good it looks. It looks like natural lip blushing. And then you just put a clear on top and you are good to go. Especially in days like today where I'm just going for a natural look. I don't want like real lipstick on. This is perfect. My hair is looking mighty flat right now. I need some dry shampoo, but I ran out. But there's been a little change of plans. I actually didn't meet the girls for coffee today. We pushed that to tomorrow. It was just, I, there was a lot going on. So we'll vlog into tomorrow to see that. But it's been many hours later. Like it's now almost 5 p.m. I got a lot of things done around the house except for put away my clean clothes, but we'll do that when I get back. But now I'm excited because we're gonna go hang out with some friends. We are celebrating one of my good friend Cal's birthday. His birthday isn't like for a few weeks, but he's gonna be out of town. So this is like the most perfect weekend we could do it. And if you know me at all, I love birthdays. I love celebrating. I love planning. So I organized this whole thing with Cal and some of our best friends here. He has no idea what we're doing. He just knows we're hanging out. But that's it, that's all he knows. And he knows to wear long sleeves and long pants because we're about to go to a rage room and ax throwing. Like that's so fun. I've never done either, but I just was, I was truly thinking of something he would like to do. And I feel like we could just get out some energy, just all hang out, not just, I don't know, go drink. I would say some wholesome fun, but is it really wholesome? Like it's pretty <laughs> aggressive, but I think it's gonna be a blast. Very casual, he texts me, he's like, do I wear a suit? Like, what are we doing? I was like, no, that is not the vibe at all. Very casual. I'm literally wearing Converse as always, but we are going to a place in Davie. So we're doing 25 minutes of rage room, 30 minutes ax throwing. I've been kind of stuck inside, cooped inside all day. I'm ready to hang out, socialize and Get some of my energy out. Feel how much weight this thing is on top right here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's an overheader for sure. That's all you grabbed? This is all I need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, we can keep it here. Oh, I see. Yeah. 
Here we're throwing darts. We're throwing axes. Whoa! How are you, Daniel? How are we doing? Back with my handy dandy little vase tripod, so I can put you guys actually at a decent height. But I'm back home. I actually had so much fun. This is your sign to sign up and do something different. Like it was just so different. It wasn't just going to the bars or going to a restaurant or going to the movies. Like it was an experience that I've, I don't think any of us have ever done a rage room. I am probably gonna be sore tomorrow because let's be honest, I don't use like those muscles. <laughs> like we were slamming shit. And like that ax was also like 35 pounds. So like lift it up. <gasps> like it was just a lot. But I actually think I had more fun in the axe throwing, which I'm very surprised about. I just feel like maybe the rage room didn't have, like if it had more like TVs or like more glass, like I loved the glass. Just because I feel like all the wood, like you had to be super <laughs> strong to like break the big pieces. And unfortunately, I am strong, but not enough to break all that. But the axe throwing, don't get me wrong, was I good? No. Absolutely not. But I had fun. And it was fun because it was like, we kept score, so we made it and like, we turned it into like a game. And I won. <laughs> no. I think one time like all the boys were in like the 70s, 80s, 90s, and I was at 20. So. Support your girl even though she's not, she's in the bottom class. I think I would definitely do that like more often. Like why is that like axe throwing, bowling, mini golfing, like those are just all such fun activities and I can never seem to get people that like want to go enough. But I guess that's what makes it fun is like you don't do it as often as like you go to the movies. I really want to go bowling soon. Like that's why I brought that up randomly. Well, we are back home at a decent time. I love this Friday and Saturday night in. No alcohol. I know that's not the craziest thing ever, but sometimes it is. Like I haven't had a lick of alcohol this weekend and I'm so happy about that. I wanted to have like a wholesome night, like spend some time to myself, get things done. And I love that I'm going to bed at decent times, like not hungover in the mornings. It, it has just been my vibe lately. In bed, 10 p.m. with my book. Sounds like a perfect night. Also, I think Cal actually had a blast, which was the most important part. It was his birthday. And I just love to make people feel special. And like, I truly thought of him when I saw that place. So it all worked out. Gotta get all the mascara that gets in my eyeballs. It's actually so funny to think about because I have always been a girl's girl. I still am through and through. I've never been the girl to like have like a ton of guy friends ever, especially close guy friends. But changing my career and switching and going full head into real estate just naturally like it's just like overtaken by mostly males that's just how it is and it's just crazy that in like the past year some of my best friends are all guys i never ever thought i would be that person like there are some of my like go-to people when i want to do something fun in fort lauderdale i'm like those are my like go-to people and it's just so funny that in one year that has changed. One year so much has changed for me. Moving, nah, nah, job, moving, ta cities, up, oh, all the above. But just so crazy that I look at like my small circle and most of my best friends are guys now besides like the core girlies, like I'll never lose them. But do you guys want me to be real honest with you guys right now? Cause we can, we can have a heart to heart right now. About one week ago, my friends, they just went back to Jacksonville and literally that night I had a spiral. Mentally, like internally, I was going through it. I truly thought that I was going through a glow down and that's just like not a thing. Like you cannot have a glow down. You're always glowing up, always. And I was like looking at photos. Like I was just not feeling confident. I was feeling really bad about myself. Everything about me, my hair, my skin, my literally everything. I ordered so much shit guys. I ordered hair oils. I ordered skin stuff. I ordered vitamins. I ordered Oh, you'll see. I'll show you what I ordered. But that's what I've been going through. I ordered a little a blow dryer for my hair because I was tired of like slicking back my hair or straightening it to the death. 
that maybe a blow dryer would help me feel better. Because I hate my natural hair, so I was slicking it back with oil, and then the oil, the slickbacks were ripping up my hair. So we're just gonna try out the blow dryer and see if that helps. We're not gonna use a flat iron, we're gonna blow it out. That's another thing, like I wasn't feeling confident because I was trying not to use heat on my hair, but then because I was doing that, I was not feeling cute. It was a whole, as a whole thing. Moral of the story, I just got something and I'm gonna show you. So I showed you guys in a few videos ago, I recently ordered this on TikTok, Nello Super Calm. And when I tell you I'm on like day 10 of taking this, I was really like letting it sink in. Like, let's see if this actually works. Like, I don't want TikTok to like change my mind on things. Like, I wanna determine on my own if this works. This is not sponsored whatsoever. But in the past week, I've realized that I have so much energy. Like at the end of the day, at the end of work days, I'm usually like my eyes are rolling, like I'm so tired falling asleep. Everyone around me is the same way. Me, I was like, I can stay here for another two hours. Like I'm fine, I'm pushing through. So that is the main thing I've realized with this. I've also been sleeping incredible. I've been like laser focused. The digestion has been back to normal, feeling good. What else? Like I literally, ever since this, I don't wanna blame it all on this, but especially the energy was the main point. People also say like it fixes your cortisol level so you'll stop having a puffy face, like the belly pooch. I'm gonna give that a little more time. I feel like that's not gonna change in 10 days, but I've noticed a huge thing in my energy. Again, not sponsored at all, but that was one of the things I like spiraled and had to order that. Also found out it's literally my, one of my influencers that got me into running, Renee Noel, I believe her name is. It's her husband's brand, which I had no idea about when ordering it, but now that I I know like I'm even more happy to share this because I literally love her and she honestly like changed my entire relationship with running with fitness like thank you Renee raspberry lemonade 10 out of 10 that is not the main thing I wanted to show you I wanted to show you this what is this now what is this weird black package it is mouth tape TikTok again got me that you tape your mouth at night and number one you sleep better you're very rested in the morning because you're not like fighting with your own breath like you're just I don't think I sleep with my mouth open, but just in case, we ordered this. My phone is popping off. But on top of that, it is supposed to snatch your jawline. And I want to believe it because I saw some incredible before and afters that it, like in two seconds I ordered it. And people were saying like the ones on Amazon like weren't well, like they would peel off in the middle of the night. So I got this Dream Vision brand from TikTok shop. Again, they have been, TikTok has been doing the job of influencing me. It's doing what it needs to do. But this this is a one month supply and I guess I will keep you guys updated. I'm very intrigued. This is my before jawline. Yeah, not the best, I know. Thank you so much for pointing that out. But let me finish with shawing and then we'll put that on. Oh my God, we've been chatting for a minute. Okay, wait, I also realized I'm not going to bed like this exact second. So I'm probably gonna talk to some friends on the phone or something. So we'll put that on right before bed. But thank you so much for listening to my TED talk about my spiral because I appreciate it. My little therapist. We got the vibe lights on. I'm more than excited. Oh, Piper apparently too to get into bed. I'm almost done with my summer read that I'm reading and I kind of want to try to get into one more before summer ends. It's already August, like it's August 3rd right now, I think. So unfortunately in my eyes, it is the last month of summer. Let me get my Kindle, trying to go through all my summer reads for the next month. I'm back into reading, look at me! We are finally headed to go meet the girlies for a cute little coffee date. I'm so excited. We're going to a place called Modern Rose and I've been wanting to go for a while. I saw it on Instagram and they have like coffee flights. The coffee looks good, the food looks good. And the whole point of this we're going to, it's me and my friend Nicole, my friend Brett and Brett, we all work together. But Brett is about to leave because she's literally about to give birth to her baby like any day now. So this is kind of like our last like hurrah until you know, She's on baby duty, like I get it. I am so excited. She doesn't know what the gender is gonna be, so like, ugh. I cannot wait to hold a newborn baby. Like I love babies. Am I gonna get baby fever? Absolutely. I'm definitely running behind, but so is Brett, so I'm not alone. I slept in for the first time in like forever, and like slept in, I mean like 8.30, so that was lovely. But now I'm ready to try some new coffee. It's definitely one of my favorite hobbies. Okay. Wait, I don't even remember what it was. Caramel? Churro? I don't know what the hell that is. And I don't know what the hell. This is churro. This is churro? Dirty chai. Dirty chai. Yeah, flirty. Flirty chai. Oh, okay, I don't know. Welcome to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. 
like, I hang out with you guys every day. We just want to yeah, do taste yeah. tests. First time. First time on the vlog. Oh, Brett was on it in Austin. Yeah. This one has sparkles. Okay, should I put some of them? Oh, yeah. Okay. That was the the caramel macchiato. That was gonna be your sparkles. This one's gonna be my face. Yeah. Yeah. Caramel. Should I go first? Yeah. Ooh. Wait. That's a chocolatey. It's a bit watered down. Is there one here that was flat? Caramel macchiato. I give it. Yeah. 2.5 Oh, are you out of 10? Oh, I was like, do you want to go out of 10? 10? <laughs> out of 10 is wild. Okay, out of 10? I give it a, a 5.7. 5.7? Yeah. I really thought you were going out of 10 too, and I was like, yeah. That would be mean. mean. That would be mean. What about you? Yeah, I give it like the same, like 5. 5? 5 or 6. Wow, we're all about. I feel like it's very watery. Yeah. You pick next. Oh, I like this one. Okay. Very pink. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm afraid to mix it. To have baby food on Sunday. I like that more than I thought I would. And I don't like floral taste. I did get flour in there. In your sip? Oh, okay, you go. I unfortunately don't really like floral, so I still give it like a 5.4 out of 10. But it's better than I thought with the pink. I give it a 5.6. Why? You're a foodie. I know you need to explain. My explanation is that it's kind of tastes like, um, what's that word? It's kind of acidic. Not acidic, though. Um, what are those sticks that go on fire? I'm usually used to describing food, not drinks. Yeah. No, I think it's But I love chai. Oh, yeah, that's true. Wait, so what would you rate I like chai, but with like a milk A seven? It's more milk than semi chai for me. Okay. You get to pick next fall breath. Mine's really good. That's the one. Okay. Churro. I was so excited about this one. I love churro. Okay, man. Churrito. I'm Mexican, so. Oh, churro. Thank you so much. Who? Whoa. That's awesome. I like that a lot. I love that seven. Seven? You're good. Cause it's sweet. I like sweet. Yeah, that's where I come in. I give it literally like an 8.8 out of 10. It's so really good. Wait, what is this? So oh, cinnamon mocha. Ooh, I can like this. That's that sounds cool. Good. I don't think I, I need to mix this. Mm. I don't think so. I'm gonna wait till Nicole <laughs> ties it to try <laughs> to say anything. Yeah. That one looks pretty. Interesting, right? Oh, I give it like a 5.2, maybe a 4.7. Mine goes one, two. Three, four. That's four. She says four is definitely true. I go one, two, three, four. This Same. Is, this is seven. This is seven. <laughs> You're like goodbye. Wow. That's my first time having a flight. <laughs> we we tried some things. Catch flights not feeling. Catch <laughs> flights not shitty coffee. Let's go in between. Well, you know, just the normal. Sunday activities. My fridge, everything completely empty, so I ordered a lot. Plus, like, the following weekend, I have some of my little cousins coming into town, so I wanted to have some food, even though we always, like, go out when people come into town. With this storm, the lighting is just, like, so bad because there's no sun. Tropical storm or tropical depression, der de what's it? I want to say Debbie. Yes, Debbie just turned in or is about to turn into a hurricane and hit Florida, but it looks like it's going to be pretty small. Hopefully we're good and it's hitting like the West Coast. It's going into like Tampa area. So prayers for Florida, but I think we're okay. I don't think it's anything crazy. We're just going to get some bad storms for the next week or so. Like looking at the, I talk about the weather a lot. I realized, but my family tells me when I was younger, I literally wanted to be a meteorologist, which I can't even like imagine, but I guess I do like talking about the weather and I always have, but look at this. For the next week in Fort Lauderdale, just all storms for the next week. So that's fun. 80% today, so another inside day. Little haul, we'll do this fast. Tortillas, the biggest bag of broccoli. I literally get the same shit every time. I'm quite the creature of habit. Bananas, got some sweet potatoes, some cucumbers, a tomato. They didn't put that in bags, so that's weird. Got a lot of eggs, coconut spray, mini bags of popcorn, because your girl can eat a full bag on her own, and we're trying to 
cut back. Crystal Light, if you know, you know. Got some cold brew, spinach, arugula, turkey bacon. Gonna meal prep some chicken for the week. And lastly, just some egg whites. We love eggs. Protein, protein. And that is all. It wasn't too much, but like, I was truly out of everything that I eat every day. I have no eggs, and that is huge for me. So we're gonna put this away, and then I'm gonna go meet my friend, walk to her apartment, and then we're gonna walk to yoga together. Yes, it is like about to rain, but she was like, we might as well walk. We're gonna sweat anyways. I was I guess you're right. We come out and it's storming. We get a refreshing shower. Probably not the brightest idea, but I'm a yes person, so we can do it. I've come to the conclusion I am a yes person. Not always a good thing to be a yes person, but a yes person gets me to experience a lot of things, make a lot of friends. So it's, I guess, case by case. I kind of enjoy being a yes person, but I know when I need a break. Fridge is stocked. It may not look like it for most people, but I feel like it is. Look at all the freaking coffee we got mixers up the wazoo <laughs> and then not even that much food but my everyday essentials are there fridge oh pretty stocked we got turkey burgers turkey meatballs burgers lots of vegetables frozen fruit frozen soup for oh that could be good for like storm days i could have that for dinner water bubble that's upward dog hips by the wrist shoulders back Literally walking out of there looking like I just jumped in the ocean. This is atrocious. I always forget how much a person can sweat until I leave one of those like hot heated classes. I just don't know how it's possible. Also like five minutes in, I was like, I know I'm done for. Like for some reason that class was so hard. And also no rain. Florida, never believe the weather app. On the road again and we're vlogging on the road again because of course I'm running late I'm headed down to North Miami to meet my mom I feel like that's a good middle point for us it's probably like 30 minutes for me maybe 20 minutes for her we're gonna go to our favorite sushi spot that we haven't been together in years probably since when she lived here and then we're gonna go watch a new movie that just came out I haven't seen her in like two weeks but it just feels weird because she is it's still not that close. She lives like 45 minutes away, but it's still way better than Orlando. So that shall be fun. I didn't have much like chill downtime today. It was a very social Sunday, which isn't usually the case. Sundays I usually don't see anyone. And it's almost like, does anyone else have like a silent day? Like I talk so much during the week, of course with work, hang out with friends. Then Sunday I'm just like, leave me alone. Leave me alone, silencio. Silencio Bruno. But not today, social Sunday. I was in my pajamas and then I just threw on a quick outfit. I literally have hair oil in my hair. Still did all the Sunday reset activities, but now we're gonna go out and hang out with my mom. We got like a 30 minute drive ahead of us. And is anyone else like, I'm on the biggest John Summit kick. I feel like all summer long, I never listened to him ever before, but this summer it's been a John Summit summer for me Yes, of course like the Earls like play into it But I was listening to him before I promise and then it just so happened that the Earls are like hanging out with him Is Ashton dating him? I don't know. I'm living for that tea. I literally like watch it I'm like, oh like uh, it's like a show for me But John Summit like I'm gonna be driving to Miami like pretending I'm going to see him the day he comes to Miami I will be there. I'm so excited. Of course He was just here a few months ago, and I didn't listen to him at the time I've never really like been a DJ girl, but John Summit's music is I feel like it's different It's house that you can sing along to like not all houses like that sometimes it's boom boom But this one I'm like singing shivers I don't call me basic. It's so good. His whole new album, Obsessed. So manifesting, he's all over Europe right now, but manifesting, he's coming to Miami soon. Oh, I also listened to Therapist and he was on <laughs> Therapist. And I think I even like, I saw more of his personality there and I like, fell in love with him. I get it. The girls that get it, get it. I didn't get it before, now I do. Well, bye. But John Summit and Gracie Abrams, those are my two go-tos right now. In the darkness, I just get happy. I've got the world in the palm of my hand. 
Okay, one last thing I want to say. One last John Summit topic. On the podcast, he, like, talked about how he was producing music on SoundCloud for, like, two or four years, one of those. And he was just putting it out because he truly just loved it. And obviously, it wasn't until 2020 until I think he went viral. And then the past four years, like, he blew up. But that really resonated with me because I feel like he was literally a finance bro. Like, can you see John Summit as a finance bro? Absolutely not. But he just loved it so much. He kept doing it. He kept following his passion. And then one day, one person, one TikTok or whatever it was that blew him up, look at him now. It's just so inspiring. So, big John Summit stand. Anyways, carry on with Carpool Karaoke, shall we? I work for you. Hi, I did hit traffic, of course, so my ETA says 5.08. Okay, my, I'm getting at 5, 5.56. What? I mean 4.56. I was about to say. So okay. you're, it is 4.56 right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be there in like two seconds. I'm at the light. Okay. I'm tired of driving. We're almost there. I'm almost to sushi. She's beauty. She's grace. We got the same thing. Horrible lighting. The storm has made it. Ah, beautiful Florida. I love it. We are at the dollar store. I told my mom while we were in North Miami, I really wanted to come to the dollar store because the ones by me are a little sus. They're in really bad neighborhoods. So I miss the dollar store. Plus we need movie snacks. This, nothing excites me more. Oh my God. September starts fall for me, but this is exciting. Trick or treat! Oh. My go-to candy for the movies. I already see it. Yeah, go-to. No, dark? Yeah. Is it your go-to? Yeah. Comment down below your go-to because we're weird and like raisinettes. This is very weird. And that is actually the end for this vlog. Very abrupt end. I'm so sorry about that. Also, excuse the hair. We're looking mighty crazy right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched till the end, thank you. This was a long, chatty vlog. Clearly, I missed you guys. Also, I apologize. Like, I have been so MIA. I know in this video, I said it was like August 3rd and now it's the end of August. Like, how did that even happen? But I also like know I've been MIA. I just took a nine day social media cleanse which was so fun so needed i have never gone that entire i've never gone longer than probably 24 hours without social media and that's like so scary to say maybe i'll talk about it in an upcoming vlog or something like that i just don't want to make this video any longer than it already is so i love you guys so so much i am back we're gonna catch up we're gonna hang out soon i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys